G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, this just came in from Banggood. This is the new Esheen EX3 GPS foldable brushless 5G Wi-Fi drone, guys. Now, this one boasts a fair few features. Um, it's just been released, just came off uh, pre-order. And there's different versions of this, which you probably are aware. Um, if you're not aware, the MJX, MJX has their version, which is the B4W and I believe JJRC has their version. Um, as far as them all being clones, well, not in this particular model of drone. I'd say they're rebranded more than anything. Uh, a clone is usually when one company brings out the uh, product first, and then maybe six months down the track, another company will copy it or rebrand it. But uh, as far as this one's concerned... Uh, this one seems to all have been released on the same date. Uh, the MJX, the Esheen, and the JJRC versions. I believe, I, I pretty much believe they're all made in the same factory and they just slap on the, uh, the appropriate company's um, logos, okay, and bring out their own version. So here it is here, guys. As you can see, 2K uh, camera on this one. We've got 5G Wi-Fi, which is supposed to give you quite a bit of range there. I think quarter of a mile, I read earlier. And uh, this comes in a number of different uh, packages. I think you can get the one, two, ba three battery combo. This one sent to me today is a two battery combo. doesn't have a carry case, uh, but I believe you can get the carry case as well. So let's open it up and uh, have a look. Okay, here we are opening the box. Now, you've got these little um, cardboard envelopes in here. This one houses the four spare props and the screwdriver. We've got this one here, another little uh, cardboard folder. And this one houses the quick start guide. So... Yeah, nice diagrams throughout, all in different languages. So that's nice. And we've got the full user manual here, the EX3 user manual, which is pretty much the same. It's in 16 different languages. And all the information you need to know on this EX3 drone is in these two uh, pieces of documentation. So that's good. I'll be definitely going through it throws uh off camera before i take it for a flight this is going to be the overview and unboxing here we have i believe the charger dock yes here is the charging dock guys as you can see it's a large box here to charge both the batteries up here's the second battery and in here we have the usb to micro usb cable which all <laughs> <laughs> all these drones are coming out with these days and here's the battery here so let's have a quick look at the size of this battery now it is a two cell battery i don't know if you can see that with the the flash on the uh camera here the light rather it's a 7.6 volt uh three 3400 milliamp hour battery guys so that's a rather large milliamp hour two cell battery for such a small modular um you know size really i mean this looks pretty much like you remember the old bug three uh batteries the actual size of it is uh pretty pretty similar to that sort of battery although you've got this big uh end of of this battery where it clicks in but uh the actual does the, the size and width and profile of it is not that big and it's they're packing three thousand 400 milliamp hours in this battery so that's rather neat this is supposed to give you well over 20 minutes of flight time guys charging times are going to vary whether you charge it in the dock uh with one battery or two um i believe with this charging dock uh, that was just a little uh protector um i believe the charging dock does one at a time and it just clips in like that okay and then you plug in up to two USB cables, uh, you only get one provided, but if you've got a spare one laying around, if you've got Android devices, you'd have a whole heap of these, and you can put two of them in, all right, guys? So uh, it's got LED lights on the top of this one to indicate uh, the charging. I might pop that in the side of the screen here. 
So, uh, yeah, ch charge them one at a time. Um, I believe these are very long charging times for this, uh, these batteries. Um, if you have two of them, I believe it says it's going to take up to eight hours, guys. So you're going to have to prepare, you know, uh, well ahead if you want to charge both batteries up. Uh, maybe do it the night before if you plan on going flying the next day out by charging these two up. All right, so that's the charger. Now here is the controller, guys. Nice looking uh, DJI Spark style or Mavic style controller. Uh, nice sticks on this one as well. Are they aluminum? I think they're plastic gimbals, but they look aluminum in the, in the fact that they're silver. But pretty neat uh, controller. This looks similar to the uh, F11 SJRC that I reviewed just the other day. The actual uh, style of controller. We've got the little uh, handles that uh, go downwards there and lock into place. It's all clearly labelled. We've got the scroll reel, wheel there. We've got the uh, takeoff and landing on this side. Fake antennas, guys. Okay. Just another one with fake antennas. Um, looks like we've got the uh, fold-out uh, phone clip mount there. I won't bother taking it out, but it'll be spring-loaded. Uh, we've got the speed mode switch, high and low. A light button there, and there's a gimbal wheel as well. On the side here, we have on and off for uh, altitude hold mode. So GPS on and off. Let's turn it on, I'll put the batteries in it, and as you can see, this has got the OLED uh, screen, so it's nicely illuminated, and you can easily see this during the day and at night, so that's rather neat. We have the locking and unlocking of the motors, which is a common thing these days that they got that, and the camera button, as well as the one key return, uh, GPS home return button. So, as you can see, nice telemetry there. The drone ain't turned on, but uh, that little battery icon will fill up. We've got the transmitter uh, that's full, obviously, because I've got two brand new batteries in there. This one, surprisingly, only takes two AA batteries too, guys, not four. So that's uh, rather odd. They actually uh, claim this drone will fly over well over a kilometre, maybe even a mile, so... Yeah, running off two batteries, it's pretty odd. So hopefully, obviously he's got enough power to transmit the radio signal to the drone that far. Now I'll just turn this on and off. As you can see, GPS off for altitude hold mode or ATI mode and on. So that's neat, does that. You've got mode one and two. I believe to change to mode one, you've got to actually turn the, the uh, have it turned off and hold this... Uh, the uh, red button here, the padlock button, and then either go left or right. I could be wrong, but that's I, I think I I heard somewhere that that's what you can have to do to change modes. I won't be changing it. Um, we've got the distance and the height, and I believe this uh, telemetry screen. Previous bugs models, uh, you know, the GPS models like the B two C and B four W and all those other ones that have come out over the last couple of years. They usually um, cap off at nine ninety nine, and even if you fly it but uh, beyond uh, one kilometer, they still show as nine ninety nine. But I believe this one with the distance, it actually goes, the little counter goes over the nine ninety nine and keeps going to one thousand and one, one thousand and two, and so forth. So that's rather neat as well. All right, so that's the controller, guys. Okay, guys, here is the EX3 foldable GPS drone from Esheen out of the box. Now, I just want to give you a quick comparison of the sizes of these other two foldable GPS drones that I reviewed. This is the SJRC F11 that I just reviewed the other day, and, of course, the SG906 Beast. And as you can see, it's a lot wider than the other two that I just reviewed. And it weighs a lot more too. So these two are pretty much identical in size, guys. Uh, they've got the same motors and the same sort of size and length. Even the props look the same. Look at that. 
these run 1806 motors so uh yeah that's just a comparison i just wanted to show you that this one is bigger and wider so it's wider and longer than those two now this uh ex3 weighs 640 grams uh, with the battery installed of course and uh when it's folded out it's a 330 millimeter size drone from motor to motor okay i'll fold it out in a second but i just want to cover some of the things about this drone first this one runs uh 2204 uh 1400 kv motors guys it has uh eight amp escs on each uh to power each motor on the front we have this 2k camera now this one shoots in 20 frames per second guys and as you can see this has a dampening uh some dampening balls inside it's got like this little uh mount and this is just supposed to help with any jello okay this doesn't have electronic image stabilization it's still a, a pretty much like a fixed uh one axis gimbal up and down but um there's some cutaway shots that when they promoted this drone on uh, youtube or whatever all these companies there is a cutaway shot i'll put it in the side of the screen here so you can actually see what i'm talking about inside this housing there is the dampening system okay now this camera is an 8 megapixel 2k camera it's also a 5g wi-fi um, which transmits 5g wi-fi back to your phone it is a 110 uh, degree lens a wide angle lens on this one and it can tilt up to 90 degrees down also an sd card which is awesome uh, up to 32 gigabyte and they recommend that you put a nothing less than a class 10 sd card to record your videos and shoot your photos the range from the wi-fi fpv signal from the camera here is supposed to give us a maximum of 400 meters or a quarter mile range they basically say 300 to 400 meters of wi-fi signal of fpv range the actual range of the drone is up to a mile so 1600 meters so you know if you want to fly that far you're going to have to put some sort of fpv system on it like a 5.8 gigahertz because this uh, wi-fi range will cap out pretty much between 300 and 400 meters now on the bottom of the drone here before i fold it out i just want to show you all the sensors underneath so we've got the optical flow one just here we also have two ultrasonic sensors to help in the aid of altitude hold as well so it's rather neat and on the back here much like a dji mavic we have two led night lights on the back which are switchable you can turn them on and off by via the controller when i showed you the controller before okay so that's rather neat that they got those uh ultrasonic sensors optical flow sensor of course this is a gps drone so it has a gps and glonass module and we've got these uh for night flying as well as well as you know if it's sunset or sunrise when the light level is a bit low or on a really overcast cloudy day uh, these will come in handy just to aid with the orientation of the drone and look rather cool as well when you go to land it at night if you choose to do some night flying okay now this drone also i might add when it hits lvc um, much like the other previous drones of this nature you know the bug series and so forth um when it gets low lvc this will transmit a low uh voltage buzzer straight to your transmitter as well which is rather neat as well so once it gets to low lvc you're going to get that buzzer alarm telling you so an audible alarm on your transmitter as well all right so that's enough of that let's fold this out on the side here as you can see it's clearly labeled here unfold the front arms second and unfold the rear arms first so that is exactly what i'm going to do so rear arms first which are on the front of the drone don't be mistaken 
And then the rear ones, oh, the front ones are at the rear of the drone when you fold it out. But as you can see, it's it's got a pretty large stance to it, guys. Like I mentioned before, this is a 330 millimeter from tip to tip, diagonal tip to tip here uh, drone. So it's pretty, pretty decently sized, okay? We've got the nice uh, face plate on the top here with the Eagle EX3. So I, like, I quite like that. That's a nice uh, logo for this particular drone. And that's got the, it's, it looks a bit scratched up, but that's just a plastic, guys. So I can take that off and it'll be nice and shiny. There is your SD card slot just there, guys, right at the front there. It was hidden when the uh, drone was folded up, but there it is there. Use a memory card above class 10. Well, I just mentioned that uh, a couple of minutes ago. And that's basically it. it. Looks pretty pretty awesome. On the back here, we've got some little stubby landing feet or landing gear. All right, on the front, you don't have any of that. Okay, so let me just fire it up. We've got the power button on the top. There we go. Do, 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 do. We've got the original ESC chime there, and we've got some, looks like yellow LED lights so far on initialization there. And, uh, I mean, it's looking to bind, obviously. So, uh, they're meant to change to green, I think. Green and red. I've seen pictures. All right, so that's basically it, guys. I just want to quickly show you an overview of this uh, drone, okay, before I take it out. I'll try to take it out tomorrow or the next day and get a full flight review up. I'm going to go over that manual because uh, it's rather thick, and this is supposed to have a lot of different features, like pretty much like all the other GPS drones, guys. you got follow me mode. We've got surround point of interest mode, waypoints, and so forth. So I'll have a quick look at the... Uh, I'll go through the user manual and uh, suss all that out before I take it out and fly it. But uh, be sure to, uh, you know, stick around and, and tune in for that one, guys. This one is just a quick overview just to show you that uh, the EX3 eSheen is now on the market and readily available at banggood.com. All the associated links will be below in the, um, in the description, guys, okay, as always. If you want to check this one out for yourself okay guys well thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next video till then enjoy the hobby happy flying and bye for now